Hey guys, this is Joseph, and I still don't know how to make a good intro, so I'm just going to get into this video. So today we are playing Chapter 2 of The Last Door, and I'm... You guys already know what's going on. I'm going to start a new game. Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Whoa. Okay, what's going on here? Okay. Thy kingdom come, thy be done in the earth, and it's in heaven. Okay. So I'm like a priest? Um, is that a real person? Okay, what's going on? Uh, what's this? Give us each day our daily bread. Um, my boy. <laughs> Why? Where's your shirt? Where did your... Uh, over here. What's he gonna do? Forgive us of all sins, for we of ourselves forgive all our debtors. Okay. What's this guy? What does he have? Oh! Did he whip himself? But deliver us from evil. Oh no. Is he whipping himself? For real? Interesting start to this chapter. Was he whipping himself? I think he was whipping himself. I'm not sure, but he was like whipping himself in the back. I'm just letting this music play out. No, no, I, I'm not skipping this. This is this deserves this. Whoa! 450 people donated this time. Now tell me, where are you? What do you see? Where am I? Oh, this is an interesting start. So, I'm guessing this is me. Where am I going? Oh, no. Who is it? Is it him? Anthony, answer me! Is this a dream? Oh, no. This is probably me going back home and I'm having flashbacks to my friend who died. Okay. I'm having flashbacks. Yeah, this is definitely me running home. Oh no. What's gonna happen? When I count to three, you'll wake up. I'm in a dream. One, two, three. One. Okay, one. There's a jump scare coming up. Two. Three, now wake up! Wake up! That wasn't really a jump scare, that was just like... You can rest now, Mr. Devitt. That will be enough for today. Are these sessions really necessary? I am confident that this is the best course for treatment for your symptoms. Now, did you ever see him, ag him again? Uh, I saw it. What did you see? Can you describe it? Oh my gosh, this game just turned to kind of creepy, like a click, a, you know, a click thing. But that now it's like a choose your own adventure. Okay, look like an eye. Okay, it looked like an eye, perfectly rounded and dark, deep and empty, accompanied by the most horrifying, painful filled screams I've ever heard. 
inside a complete darkness where an evil dwells deep below and he's forgotten the fear of human releases. Shut up! Let me finish! Anyway, I'll, I'll, can I talk now? Okay, good. Okay, still rests in deep down inside our being. In any case, that fear has already has already awoken. I can understand why are you why why well, I, I can understand why why you are disturbed, Mister Devitt. But with your permission, I would like to consult on your case with a colleague of mine, a man I've known for many years, who is more versed uh, in modern. It's like, oh, I can't read, guys. I told you, I guess I can't read. I think his knowledge uh, and experience would be very helpful in enabling us to understand your condition. Okay, first of all, I don't think I have a condition. I saw a dead man, and I saw that that uh, crow disappeared, and I saw um, that all those crows went into the room, and the blinds were shut for no reason. I saw that. I did. I'm not. This is not a condi condition. Okay. Anyway. If you think it would be of help, Doctor, I'll leave you. I'll leave it in your hands. The agony grows increasingly unbearable, and if you believe that man can help, then and I welcome his aid. Thank you, Doctor Wakefield. God, that's a weird name. I bid you good evening. Okay, Anthony, my friend, what really happened to you? How could you have left your wife Anna die so awfully? These doubts consume, consume my soul. My, my soul. My sock. These doubts com, consume my soul. I can hardly remember the time we spent together as schoolmates. I'm confused that beyond your enduring friendship, I can recall little of those years. Were your words a result and of increasing loss or of sanity? In your letter, you wrote someone that someone awaits me. A warning, a word to me of a junior danger, or merely ravings of a brilliant mind that biddled by insanity. Something stirs uneasily within my heart. I will not rest easily again until... Until I go back to the, that boarding school and find out what secrets may lie within. Don't go to the boarding school! Don't go there! You're gonna split up and search for clues? Farewell, Mr. and Mrs. Blackworth. Rest in, now in peace. I don't think they will. Oh, my house? Am I? Am I at home? There's me. There's me sitting next to the fire. There's me sitting on my bed. There's me in a carriage. I think. Yeah, that's yeah. Oh no. Uh uh. <laughs> no. 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 Chapter 2. Memories. Wow. Chapter 1, the letter. Chapter 2, Memories. What's this? An old, quite damaged box. Ma mailbox. Okay. Can I look inside? There's a postcard. Okay. Dear Matthew, it's been several months, but I still have heard no news from you. My brothers and sisters, you have abandoned me, but I am sure to remain true. I know that you would never do that to me. I know in your heart and the honesty in your eyes. I got this address from the Hospital of London, and I pray that it reaches you safely. And that, if that's the case, I want you to know that I will always be waiting for you, wherever yours, Juliet Holloway. She's not, she, well, um, she's not going to, uh, see him, see him anytime soon, because... She's not going to be seeing him anytime soon because this school is obviously closed. The Angel Gabrielle. Get, okay, yeah, I, I think I said... Okay, it's got the school's mascot. I remember it being a very pristine, but it looks neglected and dirty now. Okay, so... Oh, stop, okay. Whoa. Oh, that's the thing. Okay, let me check around back here. Oh no, what's going on? What's going on? Uh, can I talk to you? Hey, good evening, sir. I hope you're right, and this indeed be a good evening. 
Uh, my name is Devin. I didn't know if there was a cemetery here. I didn't know there was a cemetery here. My pleasure, Mr. Devin. I am Frank Baldwin. <laughs> don't make fun of me. Don't, don't make, don't ask why. <laughs> ah! Okay. Uh. I should let you get back to work. Excuse the interruption, uh, Mr. Baldwin. <laughs> I'll leave you to your work. <laughs> have, have, have a nice evening. I have a nice evening. No. Okay, a small group of graves. A locked wooden coffin, badly finished. It seems whatever it can be made. Ooh. Oh no! I think I can do something with that coffin later. I'll see you. An ancient blackthorn tree, twisted by time and wither. Okay, let's go back. I'm gonna go in the front side of the school. Oh, this is an abandoned. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, I need to see my friend. Uh, pardon. Excuse me, sister. Oh, no. No, 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 not that. G good evening, sister. Good evening. I am Mother Elizabeth. What brings you here, Mr. Uh, Divot? I am a former student of this boarding school. As you can see, Mr. Divot, this stopped being an, an academic inst institution a long time ago, and it's now exclusively dedicated to prayer and the well-being of the parent pati patients under our care. Oh, dear. Oh, no. This is like a hospital. I see. Even so, may I please speak to Mr. Divot? I'm afraid we are way too busy to start wasting time talking about the pa about past issues. In addition, there is little to say. We sister, we sisters arrived after the boarding school has 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 has, has closed down. Everybody but Monsiger, of course. Monsiger, I don't know how to say that, but I'm gonna roll with it. Exactly. But you didn't answer my question. Why have you come to this place, Mister Divot? Um. Uh. This place will help me remember it'll give me to appreciate the passage of time. Um I prefer not to talk about it. I'm gonna be secretive with this woman. To be honest, I prefer not to talk about it, okay? I couldn't tell you why this place is so important to me, but it is a lot. Well, I appreciate your honesty, Mr. David. I'll allow you I'll allow you to stay around here. I hope I won't re regret my decision. Okay. Don't worry, mother. Thank you. Oh wow. Ah, my coat. Yes, just like the first one. Okay, where should we go? Over here. Oh no. Can I talk to you, doctor? I'm sorry, I'm I'm not a doctor. Be what you thought you said. Yeah, that's right. Pam, no mind. He's been delirious for some days. I'm sure Miss Mary Vinge and oh yeah, I'm Miss Mary Vinge. And this is my brother Matthew. Okay, so <coughs> why have you left me? Why don't you answer my le <laughs> my letters? You see, this poor man is obsessed with his wife. He won't accept that he is, she has left him a few months ago. My poor Matthew. Did he leave? Like, how did he leave? I'm, I'm wondering. I'm very sorry. I, I hope he recovers. Thank you. Oops, my bad. Mr. Uh, Vinge, whatever your name is, I think this letter is addressed to you. Oh, thank you. Leave it to me, if you're so kind. As you can see, my brother's too weak to read it. Well, Matthew, let's see who's written to you. Oh, it's a letter from our mother. Dear Matthew, I hope you blah, blah, blah. Your beloved sister will come back home soon. Oh, awkward. You know what? I'm going to leave. 
Photographs of people, most likely family and friends of the bed's previous resident. Oh, stop coughing! A magazine entitled Weird Tales. Wow. Can I talk to you? Hi, ma'am. What happened to you? Are you alright? There was a rhymeth sound like a breathing, but when? Last night, we seen puzzle on my template. Something dry and rough, like tree bark, brushed against my leg, and I saw it in the wall, like a growing shadow. I I lit the lamp, and there was nothing. Madam? Madam? Yeah, I'm not. Oh. Okay, what's in this room? Can I talk to you? Okay, he's a quite. He's quite a pale young boy. He is asleep. Are you sure he's not dead? Okay, who's this? This looks like someone important. What's this? A gloomy statue of. Yeah. What's this? Please, someone. I am sorry you cannot be here. Is there some way I can help? Don't worry about it, sir. The Lord looks after everyone and every one of our patients. He will provide you with all the help you need. If you wish, you can pray here, next to the statue of Our Lady. Don't you think she is beautiful? The Virgin listens to those in need. Um, why? Picture of the Virgin Mary gazing upon you. Okay. Okay. Man, this house is. This place is big. What's over here? I unlocked the door. Wait, is that the back door? Yeah! <laughs> it is. What is this place? Like a classroom? I remember that we used to keep some more textbooks here now. There's a the music box. Can't play the music. Oh no. Oh, I can pick up the music. Oh, what's this? Dear brother, I have received your letter and I will try to write you more frequently. I hope that you are studying a lot and you feel comfortable there. We miss you a lot. When are you coming back? Father is in bed with fever and I do, I do not feel feel very well. But I'm on medication. Today's my birthday and I am feeling blue. It is a quite boring Sunday at the village. Mum is going to cook lemon cake as those then grandma used to make. I wish we could eat it together. Right back soon, I'm looking forward to knowing how you are doing, what you're learning, how big is how Scotland how Scotland is how is Scotland and so on. A big hug, I think you I think about you a lot, you your dear sister. Is that my sister? I don't know, maybe. Oh, teacher's desk. Okay. Father Ernest seems unusually troubled today. Several times he paused irreparably in the middle of a lecture for no reason. Even during his favorite class, theology. Today, Father Ernest was very irreverent. Collins made a comment and was expelled from class from it. And even Devitt was... Hey, that's me! That's me! That's me! Was... Okay, I was really, really surprised. I hope Father Ernest doesn't turn his ire towards me. My father will be disappointed if I fail and get to get good marks. Oh no, January. Hey, fun fact! January 22nd is my birthday! Uh, it was very disillusioning. Oh dear, to see Father Ernest entering class so pale and sweaty in the middle of his lecture, he stumbled, dazed, and had to sit. Hey, my birthday! To our theology class today, even though he doesn't know the subject matter as well as Father Ernest. So it's like a... So it's like a substitute. When we asked him what happened to Father Ernest, Father Engine, I think Engine, told us that he has taken ill. What worries me is now Father Engine is also starting to look unwell. Oh... It's been a month since we last saw Father Ernest. We are told that he's still sick, but if he's so ill, why hasn't he, why hasn't a phys physician come to treat him? 
My studies are flagging, but I still have taken it upon myself to read my, on my own. I hope this helps as I must succeed in spite of the problems happening around us. Oh. I was announced this morning that, it's, that, that school is closed. None of us know why, and we can't. We can't get a straight answer from the facility. I think they each dodged the question, and I am starting to think they may not know the answer themselves. They're... Oh, so they're really, really nervous. Uh, they try to hide it behind their calm face. But what about Father Ernest? I hear he he alone is to remain after we. I just thought, is Father Ernest the guy that we uh saw in the very first uh part of this video? I think so. There's a picture in the diary. It's a photograph of my graduating class. I see myself, Father Ernest, and Anthony. I don't remember the names of the others. One face has been completely scratched out. Which one? Oh, I see it! Can I take it? Books on these shelves are old and musty. Theology is a <laughs> pretty boring. There's an odd sentence written on the board. In death there is hope. In death there is life. One must seek the true nature to understand the nothing. It looks like it has been there for years as the chalk has faded in some places. Okay, time to go back. This was fun, guys, but I gotta go. Yeah, excuse me. Sorry. Okay, bye, guys. Nice to nice knowing you. What's this? Pack of letters. Can I take them? <laughs> Sorry, I, I I had to. Okay, hi, 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 ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Mr. Devitt, you are not allowed to go in there. Fine. Ooh, man, it's quiet. Got quiet. A dusty old tapestry of the Virgin Mary with baby Jesus in her arms. Ooh. Oh, who are you? Can I just steal your stuff? Morphine. Oh, can I talk to you, ma'am? Good evening, sister. Sister. All this suffering, all these tears, all our prayers unanswered. Oh, whoa, whoa, what do you mean, sister? All these years entrusted to the Lord, praying, looking for a sign. Or something that we can that can give me strength. Every day I hear them cry, pray, scream, and die. And what for? Where are you, Lord? Why don't you answer me? I'm right here! No, I'm kidding. Uh, Lord works in mysterious ways. Okay. Lord works in mysterious ways, sister. Certainly, yes, but I don't ask for much. Just something to go on. A path to follow. I can't go on like this. Not like this. Excuse me, sir. Okay, ma'am. The upper shelf is an antique cupboard, a well-worn Bible, and a rusty bread seeds to gather dust. Okay, other show. Humble beds where none sleep. Okay. One of the humble beds were. Okay, bye. A worn out faded tap. Whoa, wait, what? A worn out faded tap tapestry of Jesus Christ. Okay. That's good. Whoa. Another tapestry, though, I remember from my school days the student dormitory was here. Wait. Wait, this is blocking a door. Obviously that's blocking a door. Whoa, what's this room? Just a couple of old towels, so it's like a washroom. A 
broken mirror. Okay. Puddle in the middle of the shower pool with something shining under the gating. I can't see it. Tap of the shower. Okay, let me turn that off. I open the tap. The shiny object can be carried away by the stream of water. Oh, if I open the tab, okay. There's a shiny item there. Okay. Arrest the old pipe, okay. Anything else? Shower's old, rusty, poorly maintained. It. Whatever. Okay. This room's creepy. Okay. Okay. Just trying to try something. Okay, I'm gonna go outside. What's this? Stone eagle lies on the floor. Oh. Oh. I got stone. Okay. Now, let's go over and talk to Mr. Bald Guy. Wow, a lot of graves. Whoa. Whole other area here. So that path leads down. What's this? Piece of old fishing net. Okay, I need that, thank you. Many years adrift have perfectly smothered this old... Okay. Okay. The lost program. A sea snack older than the students at the school used to climb somewhere up there are my initials. That's cool. Cliff somehow looks very inviting. I wonder how many poor souls have jumped off of it. Probably like me. I'm about to. Can I talk to you? Oh, I don't understand. Did he order to to bury cor corpses here? Why? I don't understand. What is there to understand, Mr. David? God has forsaken this place. Excuse me the interruption, Mr. Baldwin. I'll leave you to work. Have a nice evening. Can I use this with it? Can I do anything with this? Let me go back inside. Okay. Do you take care of any of the patients around here? Um, Mr. Baldwin. Who is Mr. Baldwin? <clears throat> uh, he instructed me to take care of him as our caretaker. Many of us can find him a bit strange, but he performs his work well in compute. Com and complains as well. Talk to this guy. Can I talk to that guy? I'm afraid that's impossible. He has left strict instructions not to be disturbed, not even if by any of the sisters. Do you take care of the patients? Of course, Mrs. Devitt, we tend both of the physical and spiritual needs of those in our, in our care. Did, yeah, did he already leave here? Indeed, he was still a priest and professor before he became a whatever and started to leave lead this place. Uh, have there been many deaths lately? 
Sadly, the Lord has taken many of these unfortunate souls. Thanks, I'll leave you to your duties. I'll go upstairs. Oh, I just thought the net. I can get the uh. Can I get this log? Oh, can I stone? Okay, I can't do that. I can't sharpen it. I can't- wait, what? I can't- what? I can't do that. What do I do now with anything in here? That's it for this video, and if you guys, please be sure to subscribe. Bye-bye, guys.